Good evening, gentle bodies, and welcome to Lucas 13, the uh, first Q&A video. Yay! Uh, it's it's gonna be a fantastic time, you guys. I, as you can see, this is Oblivion. Yeah, that's that's one hell of a tree. It's one sexy ass tree. We are in Mistopia, is what I've named this place. You see, it seems my, um, <laughs> my, my machine can't quite handle the power of this game. So, I, I set it on a, on a, almost, almost enough distance. So, you can see things in the distance, kind of like they're ghosts. Just sort of waving at you. Alright, um... I want to go over a few things before we start the questions, which I'm sure you guys are eager for. Uh, the reason I decided to do this game is I've been working on trying to get a hold of it for a while now, and now I finally have it. Sideways, Kate, that's what she said. Um, now that I finally have it, it it'll be great if you guys tip. Well, fuck you, man! I don't like your face! You... What the? Yeah, taste. I'm gonna lick this blade. Um. Yeah, I, I ate that shit. Your blood is mine. Maybe a little bit of tea bagging too. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, as I was saying, I think I was gonna do a little bit of this game to give you guys a taste of what it would be like if I did LP this. I'm not really sure if I want to or not, because I'm sure there are a lot of people who get, ir get irritated with low graphics and shit. Not. So, I want you guys to tell me what you think, if you think this will be fun. You know, just let me know. DIE CRABS! God, God fucking crabs, man. I, I just can't get rid of them! This, this, this is the best iron base shampoo I've ever had. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like we have some some visitors. Bring it on! Nope. Ow! Don't chug it. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck you, lady. Fuck you! Ow! Stop it! <laughs> You're mean. Okay. Oh, she's just chillaxing, ain't she? That's one hell of a fight. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the questions now before I say anything else stupid. Uh, right. The first question we're gonna have is from a good friend of mine, that Fallout 3 guy. I'm gonna pop that up here on the screen there. Uh, yeah, he... Yeah, he's, a, he's actually he's a real good friend of mine. And prepare for these these questions, because they're just I, there's no other way I can describe them other than just terrible, just just terrible. Not in the way you're thinking, but just you know, just that way that makes you want to face. All right. Well, while I dolphin nose here, um, how did I get back here? Uh, let's see. His first question is, uh, will you ever LP another Pokemon game? If you guys recall, one of my first LPs ever is uh, Pokemon Emerald. You can go check that out. I'm sure it's in recommended somewhere. Uh, no, I, I, there, no, no, no way in the hells of the nine fucking just demons of shit face mountain. No, I will never, ever do a Pokemon game again. Just too much trolling, not by this the game, not just by me, but by everyone that fucking watched it. Just too much trolling, no, just just no. And secondly, it, I, it has more grinding than I remember. It just holy shit, man. I I spent literally more time grinding than I did probably pe playing the fucking game. It was. Just, Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, what was I talking about? Uh, okay. Second question. Do you see yourself LPing any big name games like Fallout 3 or Dead Space? 
<laughs> no, I, <laughs> I, I would absolutely love to do games like that. I mean, I'm as we speak, I am attempting to get a hold of Fallout 3, uh, the Game of the Year edition for PC, but just good god you guys my pc sucks it just so much it makes me my eyes weep it really does and i'd love to do them and i don't really mind the graphics problems i really don't i've gotten used to it but you know i, I learned that i do this more than just for my sake so if it bothers you guys too much then i probably won't for at least until i get a real machine you know a, a sexy machine a machine knows how to treat a man um but if you'd like to see it you know because you, you think I'm funny enough to make it work or if you just hell maybe you just want to see the game you know see what I do in it I don't know you can do that too just let me know uh, that's what this is all about this is all about talking to you guys it's about making love gonna make love to your woman gonna lay you down by the fire Okay, before I sing any more songs, uh, wait, what was it? Oh, yeah. Third question. Trust me, there are a lot of these guys. Who is your favorite Scrubs character? Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you remember that series, if you know what it is, well, then you're just one of my favorite people. Scrubs, it's fantastic. And uh, to answer the question, JD. Of course it's JD. Who the fuck else is worthwhile my time in that game? Nobody. Well, that's not true, but JD because he reminds me of what I would probably be like if I was a doctor. And, you know, not scared of blood. Terrified of, of blood. In fact, I would be the most awful person in, in the, as a doctor, as a the pregnancy doctor, whatever they call those guys that help deliver the babies. I would just be awful, just totally, completely, I would wet my pants, I'm not lying, I would probably drop the baby and wet my pants at the same time, I'm sorry, just don't, just don't, don't ask me to do that stuff. Only a select few people out there know how ironic this is considering uh, the other things I do with my free time, but anyway, uh, if you had a gun and only one bullet with Hitler and Light Yager me in the same room, who, where would you shoot Light and, 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 and before in the balls? Well, Fallout, you're just gonna, ha you're gonna be surprised about this, but I, I admit it. I, I wouldn't, I would, it'd be a hard decision. Really would. I would probably take the gun. I, I'm gonna go ahead and assume by gun you meant assault rifle. No, no, sniper rifle. Yeah, sniper rifle. We're going to take it assume it's a sniper rifle. I'm going to jam it so far up like Yagami's ass that he won't even have time to cackle like a mad woman. And then just as he thinks it's over with, bam, I would shoot it and it would blow off his stupid emo face. And not just that. I would make sure to angle it just right in his asshole so it hits Hitler maybe a little bit. Just just see if I could do the world some good uh, twice a day. Wow, you have some nice backflips, puppy. Okay. Um Sorry about that graphicness. Uh okay. Well, I'm, <laughs> it's going to get worse. Um <laughs> Liara uh, from Mass Effect, if you don't know who she is, you can fuck off. Lily from Katawa so Shoujo, if you don't know what that is, well, you should Google more. And Aaron, well, you, uh, no matter what I say, you won't know who she is. Are all in the same room. Who do you have sex with and why? Well, you, th you think you had me there, didn't you? You thought, ah, uh, this is gonna get Luke, this is gonna, this is gonna fuck with his brain, he won't understand. He'll just shut down and just embarrass himself in front of everybody. Well, that's where you're wrong, sir. For you see, I have considered this many times, and it's uh, quite an obvious solution, really. I would steal the 
duplication technology from DBZ that TN himself developed, I would rip myself into three, or perhaps more, if the situation calls for it, and I would take each of them to their own special rooms where I would proceed to pleasure them hourly until they passed out. Thus, securing my name in history as the most manly man in history. If that didn't give you a boner, well, you just don't know. You just don't know, do you? You, you just don't. Alright. Damn it! Don't, don't lie to me! I know something's here! I swear I hear it. Ah, there you are, you little motherfucker! Come here! <laughs> Crabs. Okay. Um. What's up with that? Oh. Out of all the RPs you've been in, which is your favorite? Alright, for those of you who don't know, RPs or role playing games uh, are sort of a common thing where I'm from. The desolate lands of Forum Town. Uh. It's really just basically, you know, fantasy what, with your friends that you get to ride out with your riding skill. I'm quite a, a, quite a fantastic rider, if I do say so myself. <laughs> anyway. What I'd have to pick, Fallout, because you make most of these questions about you, uh, you bastard, is probably the p practice RP. Now, for those of you who don't know, the practice RP is basically where we all first started. We were just like, fuck it, we wanna, we wanna write some shit, but we don't know what we're doing, so we're just gonna make this non-official. So we did, and and man, was it fun. Now, before you discredit what I'm saying, Fallout mainly, I, just hear me out. I I pick that because it's not just a, a nostalgia boost. It's not just oh, you remember those days? Yeah, I remember those days, guys. That is a very pretty sunset. If only I had graphics high enough to... Okay. Um, it's also because just... It was so corny. I mean, it was just so corny. And I loved it. It just made me laugh. Like... It just made me laugh. I, I can't really describe it. Anything... What the fuck? No! Die! Fuck you! Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it really... <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. Uh, and not just that either, though. It was the first time all of us got together. You, you know. You know who I'm talking about, bro. Clams. <laughs> um, I'm digging in clams. Um, all clam. No, okay, stop it. Uh, it was the first time all of us really got together and did anything as, a, as friends, you know? Novin was there. You were there. Uh, I was there. I think, uh, who else was... There were a lot of people there, but you get the point. Um, it was just good fun for everybody around. And, and you know, of course, it was where I got to test out my writing skills, skills for the first time. I, I used to be pretty shit at it, I won't lie. But, as we all know, time makes everything better. Um... I have a feeling there's a glitch there. I'm not quite seeing. Well, okay, we're gonna go. No, we're not going that way. We're going this way. What? That is a pretty moon. Um. All right. Next question. What is a really funny and humiliating story you are willing to share? Uh. Well, we all knew this one was coming, wasn't it? Um. I think I'll come back to that one just because I know it'll be. A long story! Die, 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 Fucking wolves! Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to come back to that one, because that one's just going to be so long. Like my penis. Okay. Num number eight. When can we co-commentate together? Fallout 3 guy, you, you sexy bitch. You just, okay. I, I can't... Really, because right now I'm doing RPGs, which are story intensive, as I'm sure you know. And having someone there with me, you know, well, well fun, and, and you know, cracking jokes, just making everything go ha ha ha. It's just, it doesn't work. 
it, it really doesn't. There's no way to to make that work. I I can't can't just turn the story off for five seconds while we joke about how this dude has a funny name, El Penis or or whatever the hell you want to go with. I don't know. Um, all right, next question. Who is the last person in the world you would have sex with? Ha ha ha. Ah, that one took me a bit of thought, you know. When I first saw it, I was thinking, wow, I've never really thought about this kind of thing before. Who would be the last person on Earth I would bone? Well, it turns out it's easier than I thought because it's your sister Fallout. I'm sorry, but your sister, I just, I, I could not get a boner in front of that. I just couldn't. I don't care. I don't care for the jokes that follow along with that. I just can't. I can't perform in front of a woman who thinks the capital of London... No, no, the capital of England is North Dakota. I can't fucking do it. I just can't, okay? Ugh, just fucking hell, man. T teach her something, for God's sake. I want you to just... Just tape her to a chair and make her watch... Net Geo for like three hours, no, for three days in a row. Just do it. It's for the love of all mankind, man. Anyway, what's this? Uh, yeah, next question. If someone attended you, no, if someone get, it offered you a billion dollars for you to leave YouTube forever, would you? Well, that's, that's pretty obvious. Fuck yes, I would! What are you, retarded? Who wouldn't do that? Now hang on before you get all upset about me for, you know, d taking money over everything else that I love. Well, that's not like that. I would take the billion dollars. And after like a couple dozen wise investments, I would build my own fucking website. You, you hear me? Yeah. My own LukeTube. Yeah! LukeTube, everybody. Everybody would go there. I would make shit look attractive and awesome. And I would actually have a system where people, you know, uh, put, put in suggestions about what they want for updates and changes and shit. Or if they like stuff, what what to keep, you know, instead of forcing changes, you know. I, I, I like to think, I like to think the world's better that way. But no one's ever going to give me a billion dollars because, you know. Who, who, would you give me a billion dollars? I, I don't think so. I, I didn't. Where's the fucking... Damn it! Maroon's Dagon, where are you? I could trade my soul for a billion dollars right now. Damn it. Ugh, okay. Um... And... <laughs> next question. Who is the best pony? Now, if you don't know that Fallout 3 guy, he is talking about My Little Pony. It's a... Well, let's face it. If you don't know what it is... You're probably not going to care. So, who is the best pony? Why, it's rather obvious, really. Ponyta. Ponyta was the original pony. You fucking, you can't match Flaming Mane. That's just, you just can't. Okay, Ponyta kicks the shit out of any of your shitty ponies. You know, just, she breathes fire. What do you got for that, really? You got nothing. You got nothing. after that who is <laughs> alright next question why are so many of my questions sexual well <laughs> well that's quite obvious fallout you poor bastard it, it's just it's not your fault really I mean you've been corrupted by the internet MTV, Fox, and obviously video game. Video game violence has just rotted your brain to the stem, and now you can't spew forth anything that isn't sexual or offensive. It's just, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's okay. What the hell? For a second there, I thought that was a giant face with, like, a big fucking tongue or some shit trying to lick me. Well, fuck you! Uh, just deceiving lights I, I'm not gonna who is that all right all right um wait, what was I gonna say after that uh oh yeah next question <laughs> what are you gonna do if 
you and Baller are the only ones that ask me questions. Well, as you can, as you're about to see, you aren't the only ones, but you did make up 50% of the questions fall out. I thank you for that. And you succeeded in infiltrating your way into my questions and answer video. Thanks a lot for that. <clears throat> and, uh, wow. Wait, is that all of it? Yeah. Right, that's all of Fallout's questions for now. We're going to come back to that other one, number seven, later on. Don't let me forget, you guys. You're too sexy to let me forget. Um, is that, okay, our next... The next question asker is someone named Zappazak. I'm going to pop it up on the screen here because I can't fucking say it. Who are you and why is your screen name so hard to pronounce? Um, alright, so let's see what he's asking. Are you an alien? Why? Yes. Yes, I am. I, I'm an alien who's come to Earth in search of many things. I've come search for women, money, power. So many things, and I, I I partially blame 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 what am I what what I partially blame Baller Scuba for my stay here because he blew up my mothership. It's it's, it's a long story. I really don't like talking about it. It's just <laughs> why why would you do that to somebody? We were just trying. to to greet you. <laughs> uh, that smoke cloud is still in outer space. Alright. Next question. Why did I leave the forum? Okay, I don't know who you are on the forum or who you were. And if we talked a bit, I'm sorry. I just don't remember you. But if I had to guess, perhaps the swarm of newbies scared you off. They're, they're kind of like locusts, you know. Newbies. That they'll feast off of any and all memes and or old jokes until you're just sick of them and you want them all to die. Luckily, I bought a flamethrower for just such an occasion. If only I could use it in this game. Whoa! That wasn't good. Um, right. All right. Next question. Favorite genre of music? Well... This one's going to be kind of short, because if someone else asked something similar that I go into way more detail later on, but rock and roll and techno. I've been a fan of both for a long, long time, especially rock. I don't know why, really, because it's kind of strange. I usually like calming stuff, but if you, if you play a rock beat to a guy running out of a volcano with waves of lava and explosions and, and demons and sh following him, following him out well there's just nothing better than that there just isn't and I'm going in circles aren't I where the fuck am I I think I'm on the main island I'm gonna go this way um he's it's just I love it I, I alright next question least favorite well that's that's more obvious I mean not, not more obvious it's less obvious the type of music I hate the most is probably opera yeah, you didn't even know that was a genre of music, did you? Well, I do. And any fool who pays cash to go to a big arena to listen to some fat lady yell at them for, for hours, that's just... Why would you do that? Why would, I, why would I go somewhere to listen to ladies yell at me? If I wanted to hear a woman scream that badly... I would just go bow my girlfriend. Oh! Oh, no, you didn't, Luke. Yes. Yes, I did. I had to. It was for the greater good of all mankind. Um. Yeah. I, I, all right. I'm going to hold on. Got to flip this over. Yes, I did write these down because there were so fucking many of them. I wasn't, I was surprised, really. I didn't think so many people would care. Can you name three anime that I may not know of? Well, I can name three that are kind of obscure, if that's what you mean. I can try. All I can ever do is try. All I can do is try my best to... S okay. Uh, this one, uh, you may not... I, I learned about this one because of an AMV a friend of mine sent me. It's called Tetsuan Birdie Decode. 
I don't even know if I'm going to put that up, but I, um, I might. Basically, Superpower Girlfriend, that, that's all I really know about it. All I saw was a skin-tight suit and a whooping, whooping, kicking ass. That seemed pretty cool to me. I don't know about you guys, but I, I kind of like it. Um, I haven't watched it entirely, but it looks pretty cool, so you can check that out. Uh, another one, highly unknown, I think. Uh, wow, that's a big ocean. Um, Overman King Gainer. Yeah. For those of you who don't know this one, I absolutely adore the intro it has. It's just... Who doesn't love the fucking monkey? Just who doesn't love the monkey? Who doesn't? Just... Who doesn't love the monkey? If you watch it and you don't agree, well, you're just stupid, obviously. So... Your opinion doesn't count for shit. Who are you and why are you in my building? What? What? Di Don't you walk away from me! Di Don't hurt me! Bitch! You better run! I... Oh, shit. Okay. We're going this way now. Um... <laughs> what, was, what were we talking about? Uh... We're going out to sea, baby. Uh... Alright. Next one I'm talking about... Elemental Gelade. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's really sweet. It's just, it's it's full of sweetness. Uh, I highly recommend it. All right, next question. What else did you do before it was cool? Oh yeah, I, I remember. Well, it's obviously. What else did I do before it was cool? Your mom, of course. I, I did her way before everyone else started picking it up. It was just a hobby of mine. But now everybody's fucking doing it. Now I never, I don't even have the energy to do it anymore. It's just not even cool. It's just not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zap. I don't. I had to do it. It was just too easy. That that one was too easy to not do. Your mom, that is. Um. <laughs> Wiggly. I'm gonna call you Wiggly. Hello, Wiggly. Okay. Um. actually wrote too easy how about that <laughs> all right if you could go all right if you go to a concert 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 with three people real or not who who would it be and what would the concert be well i'm glad you asked that actually because a friend of mine actually he inspired this next uh, this next idea so i'm going to tell you i'm going to go with baller scuba you may know him as you know, that one co-commentator I had that one time that was horribly laggy. That was my fault, mostly. Um, because he's just a badass dude, and there's no way around. What the fuck? Why are you biting me in the ass? It's not that tasty, I swear. Okay. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. We're going to go with Baller Scuba, Vash, the Stampede, the motherfucking Stampede, and, and Kerrigan from, well, StarCraft 2. She is just... What the hell was that? What the fuck? What are you doing, bro? Are you spazzing out? Are you having a problem? Well, apparently you are. Okay, well, you're gonna die now because you hit me. Bitch. Cunt face. What do you think you're gonna do, huh? But yeah, we're going to go with Baller Scuba, Vash, Stampede, and Kerrigan. We're all going to go to a Foo Fighters concert. Yeah. Going with Baller Scuba because, well, I know he likes that band. And plus, he's, a, he's an awesome dude. We're going to go with Vash because, well, he's just a lady slayer and he'll get us all laid. Even Kerrigan. Going with Kerrigan because, well... Uh... Because uh, why the fuck not, okay? If you've seen her ass, you'll understand why. Um, okay, moving on. Next question. Do you know the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Who lives on Drury Lane? <laughs> well, she's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? Yes, the Muffin Man! Uh... Yeah, he's banana nut flavored. I don't know if you know. 
the Muffin Man. He's pretty tasty, honestly. I've had a few bites. Now I see why she goes there. Alright, next question. When was the last... Okay. When was the last time you bleep... You're bleeped. You... Right in the bleep. So hard you bleeped everywhere. Well... Well, you see, that's quite simple, because the other day, I bleeped all over the or bleep. It bleeped me back until I bleeped until I came. I, I, I'll let you decipher that, because I really don't feel like it. It makes my brain hurt even thinking about it a little bit, so, yeah. And, yay! Now we've finally, we finished Zap's questions now. Now! Baller Scubas! Okay, we're gonna do his. Yeah, like that. Okay, what is... What is the video game you remember the most from your childhood? Well, two things come to mind, really. I think Pokemon is one of the top ones. Simply because it just... It, it just consumed me when I was like seven or so. It was just... I, I don't even know. I love Pikachu and I don't even know why. It just shows Japan knows how to market to kids. And men. Damn it, Japan! Okay, uh... What else? Oh, yeah, and Harvest Moon, oddly enough. If you ever played that, it's one hell of a game. Probably not LP material, but it's still one hell of a game to waste eternal hours of the day on, I swear. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Baller Scubas. Let's see what his next question is. How far from civilization is your house? Well, I'm glad you asked that. It gives me a chance to explain why my internet is so shitty. You see, I live on the corner of Boone and Docks, right past Shit Creek. You gotta go up Shit Creek, and then it's right across from Bumfuck Egypt. It's right there in the center of that big gray area on the map. You know, after you've gone through the Bermuda Triangle and a few black holes, you, you'll find it. it. It's it's right around the corner. There. In fact, I'd say this pretty much says my backyard. <laughs> um. Well, all right. Number three. Uh, well, of ballers. How long before you ban Fallout for trolling? <laughs> well. For all this time, I haven't done it yet, which is by a miracle in and of itself. But I'd uh, it'll probably be next week sometime, you know. Just it'll probably be next week, most likely. Probably okay. How much do you drink before co-commentating with you? Well. <laughs> Well, it's quite simple, really. I, I just... I drink plenty and plenty of moonshine. How much exactly? Well, just enough to make the amount of fail in that bearable. To the point it's so funny, I just want to piss my pants. If you've ever seen me in one of Bola Scuba's videos, I giggle quite a lot. I just... I need to lay off the sauce, man. I need help! I NEED HELP! <laughs> okay, um... Uh, how much do you want to uh, Alright, next question. Who would win in a fight, Vash or Kerrigan? It's like he knew I was going to say what I said earlier. And that's easy. You know, Vash, because he's the ultimate ass slayer. He is. No one can slay ass like Vash. <laughs> yeah, listen to that carefully. What? Oh shit! Uh, okay, we're going this way now. Um. Yeah. Okay. What? Okay, what is the oldest system you want to LP on? Well, I don't really know anything older than SNES, unless you're talking like the Atari or some shit. Uh, I, I do some SNES games because they have really good games. I'm not doing no fucking Atari. I'm not doing E.T., so just lay off, baller, for God's sake. I know you like being touched by an alien, an uh, angel, whatever you want to call it, but I'm not doing it, okay? I'm just not 
Not after last time. Alright, so... What is the next quest? Okay, how many times have you had or made moonshine? Well, I had enough to co-commentate with you, and I've made enough to be on the Discovery Channel. So, you know, that ought to give you a better picture of what I'm like. Uh, just luckily, the species known as the guard is retarded, and very it's very uh, tone deaf. As long as you don't provoke it, his stallion, however, is much more deadly. <laughs> okay, um, uh. Why don't you play games exactly like your subs want you to, and therefore you suck at them? Well, <laughs> obviously, uh, you know, I'm out to troll every sub I ever get until they submit to me and my sexual desires. Just... It's just obvious, you know. I mean, well, why do I suck at Pokemon? Because I, I didn't want to spend every encounter with at least four moves. I wanted to mop up some bitches because there are way more random battles than there should be in Pokemon. At least way more useless ones than there need to be. I get it. Experience. Yeah. But it doesn't help. It, it just doesn't. Also, the rival in Emerald sucks, but still. Uh, what was I going to say? And what is the easiest game you've ever played? Lab Baller's last question. Well, I was going to pick something old, but then I realized most old games are actually pretty damn hard. They made you work for your money, you know? And I couldn't really think of any, so I went for something more recent. A game I haven't played in a while, but I do have. It's called Prototype. I don't know if you guys ever heard that. Uh, heard of that? It's just... AND THE POWER OF GOD COMPELS YOU! Okay. Uh, yeah, if you ever played Prototype, you know that it's basically about you being incredibly overpowered and just destroying everything that ever could face you. Ever. Just, just anything Anything possible that gives you a threat, you instantly get an ability that kills it way faster. And you are my bitch! Suck my cock! Okay. Uh. And that's all about our scuba's questions. Yay! Uh. The next one's is from Pulse142, which made me instantly think of Pulse182, and it made me laugh. But, uh. I know Pulse by another name, so I'm just going to call him Lazor. It's a long story. Just don't worry about it. All right. If the world came crumbling down around you and you had five minutes to live, what theme would you listen to as, a, as everything withered around you? Well, that's quite obvious, really. I'd listen to... What the fuck? Oh, motherfucker. You interrupted my awesome song. I will ruin you. <laughs> Bitch. You little, just, just, little Satan ass cunt face. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's what I would listen to. Because that song was awesome. Hmm? J you little bitch! Where are you getting your brothers? Show me where your mom is, so I can stick this sword so far up her uterus, she thinks twice before having another baby. No, 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 no. Your blood, it sates me! <laughs> okay. Uh, alright, favorite band. I'm gonna go with bands, because I wrote a bunch here, because I am retarded, so... I've been a big fan of Metallica, Queen, Journey, Guns N' Roses. Those, just those for a long ass time. I love 
I just love their songs. Just a half for a long while. But thanks to a little someone named Bolo Scuba, yeah, I started getting into some new ones. Well, not new ones. I've heard of them before, and I did like them. But he introduced a bunch new more to me, um, such as Foo Fighters, uh, Breaking Benjamin, and System of a Down. They're they're all fantastic. Just oh god, that music he sent me. Jizz everywhere. Okay. Uh, what is this? Why is there... What? Why is there scabs on this log? I demand who hurt my precious log. How dare you hurt my log? You heart heartless bitch known as nature? Okay. <laughs> Actually didn't mean to do that. Right. Who would win? Cthulhu or Optimus Prime? Hmm. That's a tough one. Dark evil, eternal, undying god. Optimus Prime. I'm going to have to go with Optimus Prime on this one. I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. Dude, why would you do that? It's just nobody picks Optimus Prime anymore. Well, I've never been a big fan of Transformers, admittedly, but he, he just... He's Optimus Prime. Optimus motherfucking Prime. And he demands your attention and respect. Okay, now what is the next one? Will you ever poke to post a picture of your face? Fallout only keeps making you limp. It <laughs> it's okay, Lazor. I, I know your pain. It just takes a couple of months to get used to it. I... I don't know, really. I don't... I always kind of like the idea of hiding behind my profile picture for my face. But, you know... Hey. Hey. Yeah! Murder! Okay, run. Um... <laughs> but... I, mean, I don't know. I don't think... Uh, it won't be any time soon, to say the least. If I ever do show my face, it'll be sort of like Baller did it. Just like the last few seconds or something. Unless, you know, I, I, I really kick it off and you guys love me far too much for my voice to abandon me no matter what I look like. In that case, I may do it. I may do it. I, I'm sorry, I just can't show you what I really look like subs ow you bitch what the fuck die screw you you interrupted my awesome dialogue I don't give a shit if I killed your grandpappy <laughs> God damn it okay what was I saying uh shit I forgot um what was I, I can't, oh yeah I was gonna say I, I can't show you guys what it looked like because it's a, in violation of my contract that I, I've made with, you know, the internet. Because if I show you, well, then obviously I'm open to being raped. It's just, that's that's how the internet works. And that's why Facebook is just the most awful, awful invention ever. Just an awful invention. Just horrifying. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Getting back on track. Will HK-47 ever feel love without the pacifist package? Fuck Star Wars. I had to Google that. I fucking hate Star Wars. No, I don't hate Star Wars. I just... I have a feeling it's just... It has to be your first taste of science fiction for you to love... For you to love it. Because I... I play... I... I, I I played Mass Effect before I ever saw, saw saw Star Wars, and it just Mass Effect's so much better. It's a science fiction thing. Just no, no, no. Don't d stay away from me, you little no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Um, 
but yeah, now I understand where that reference is from, uh, Lazor, and, and I feel bad for not getting it before. <laughs> Dark, don't bite my crotch! Damn it! Okay. Worst anime I've ever seen. Final question from him. Fruits Basket. That's just... Oh, God, it's so awful. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Just Imagine every teenage romance you've ever seen... What? Just imagine every teenage romance you've ever seen drawn out to incredible levels. Some bullshit just... Fuck. Alright, this requires a story. I don't care. I'm gonna have to tell the story behind it. The reason I know what the... Ow! Stop hitting! What are you doing? Cunt face! I don't care if you're a marauder. Marauders suck! Zerglings kick that ass! Alright, so... Anyway, yeah, this requires a story. When I first encountered Fruit Basket, I was reading in a library. I know... Shocking. Anyway, I was reading at the library. I, I was rather bored, and it was the middle of the school year, and I didn't really have that many friends, because people hate me. So, I was trying to find something worthwhile to read, and I saw something called Fruits Basket, and I was like, well, this seems interesting. I opened it up. First, not the first page, but like, in the I just opened it up to the middle of it, and the first thing I saw was a naked woman lying in the middle of a field of grass. Obviously, you couldn't see any of her naughty bits, but that was enough for me to rent it right there. So I rented it. And you fucking just fucked This is you. a hold up. Hand God it over. damn it. No. It Die, you fucking Khajiits. I hate Khajiits. Ugh. Well, except for female Khajiits. But you're not female. You're just manly. And I hate manly things. Ugh. So anyway, I took it home, right, the Fruits Basket uh, manga. I tried reading it, and I kept looking for the awesome bit that I saw. And when I finally got to it, it just it just wasn't worth it, man. I felt like I sold half my soul for a Slurpee. It just, it, it wasn't worth it, no matter how hot she was. Fuck! Anyway. So I ended up going back rather mad. And it wasn't... <laughs> it has this twist thing in it where people are part of the Zodiac. So they transform into their animal whenever they're... I forgot what it was. Startled or, or embarrassed or some shit like that. Just, oh, God, it's so bad. Okay. Don't go that way. Um. And yeah, that was the worst anime. You said anime, but... I watched a bit of the anime to see if it was any better, and just, no. Just no. Right. So that's all the questions except number seven, which I avoided until now because it is a doozy of a question. And I have a feeling, well, you guys will either love me more or hate me more for this tale, but I might as well tell it. What is a really funny or humiliating story I'm willing to share? I'm a pretty open person, I like to think. So I'll give you two stories instead of one. Two for the price of one! I will shove this so far up your... Okay. Alright, so... This first story requires a bit of background for you to fully appreciate how humiliating it is. So... Something I need to know about the layout of my house. We have a kitchen. That is a big open window. That leads out into the back porch. Well, sometimes when I would like to talk on the phone. I'll go outside or I'll sit on the back porch or whatever. It's just something I kind of do. So, okay. I don't know how much... Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll spare you the details until later. For now, just know I had a girlfriend. Yes, a different one from the one I have now. She liked to call me in the middle of the day and ask me for sexy things. Now, before you judge me, you should understand that it was incredibly hot. Just imagine my voice 
you know, just talking sexually in your ear and see if you can't you, you stop yourself from chasing your pants. Fucking... Yeah, you better run! Okay. Um, anyway. She started getting kind of, uh, how do you say, hot with me. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? On the, when I was talking on the back porch. Now, normally, I'm not one for public... To, normally, I'm one to restrain myself until I'm in the safety of my room to fap. But, this day... Well, it was just a crazy day. So, you see... I was sitting on the back porch, talking to this person, and I thought to myself, where could I go that I would be completely hidden from the naked eye? Well, my solution was to go to the corner of the porch, which, of course, was in front of the window, but here's my thought process. My parents almost always have the blinds closed. Not to mention, I didn't even think about the door, be door being there. Damn it! Screw you guys! I didn't even think about the door being... I mean, not the door, the window being there. It, because I was a little busy. You know, all the blood pumping to my fucking dick! Um... So I fapped. I fapped good and hard and long. And that, that was that. I didn't think anything of it for the rest of the day. I, I went back to my room, started playing some video games. So this is the conversation, no, this is, this is what happened afterwards that caught my attention and immediately snapped my attention to that activity. My father walked in, but yeah, my father walked into the room. Now, he was going to the store or something like that, I think. I, I can't remember exactly. I'm sure my father will think of something. Whatever he was doing, I don't remember because it wasn't important. He said to me, and I quote, Do you want anything in the store? And I was like, no. And he was just like, Alright, by the way, if you want to do, if you want, what did he say? If you want to go about such activities, son, you might want to make sure you do it in the privacy of your own room. And he had to biggest fucking smug smile on his face as he said it. Now I'm sitting there going like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? And as he turns away to walk away, realization smacks me right in the dick. And I was just like, oh my god! And I just spazzed the fuck out. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I just sat there for the longest time as he walked away. And I remember both of my parents were sitting there, so there was no chance of somebody missing this activity. It was on display for the world to see, and I just... Ah, oh God, that story... I, I don't... I, I don't know any other way I could make it more perfect. Just... To any of you guys who are watching this, if you've ever been caught... If you, I mean, if you've never been caught masturbating, then you just need to take more chances with your masturbation. Just, just do it. Do, just do it for the fun of it. Do it for Luke. Do it because Luke told you to do it. Hell, tell your parents that Luke told you to do it. I don't care. They don't know who I am. They don't know what I've seen. <coughs> Bitch. <coughs> Fucking what elves? God damn it. Die! <sighs> anyway. What was the second part? Um... Yeah. Okay, I can tell you, uh, this is the more... <laughs> this one isn't so much funny as... Well, no. I think it was pretty funny. This is more funny than humiliating, I guess. It just shows how moronic I was when I was younger. Same girlfriend, too, oddly enough. Um, this is a little overview of our relationship. I... I... I <laughs> Well, I met her on MySpace, you know. You remember that thing? Yeah, I remember that thing. So that says wonders already, I'm sure. But, just, what the fuck? Um, that just says wonders already. This is speed limit, you know! You cunt! Okay. She, I don't know how to put it. 
Have you ever had someone lie to you so hard? You just, you just, you feel it in your, just, you feel the lie verberate through your skeleton. That's what it was like with her. Now, at first, it started out with simple lies. Stuff that I had no reason to doubt, because, well, I was a good guy. So, obviously, I believe what my girlfriend said. Why not? Why wouldn't I believe what she said? She said she was rich, and that she was a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, before you say anything, yes, that was starting out small. Those were small lies, she told me. This is, this, I, I hope this paints a lovely picture of how fucking retarded I was when I was a young man. Just how desperate the, the search for tail can, can make a man. It's just insane. Anyway, what was I saying? The more elaborate lies, of course. Uh, well, this requires some awesome scenery. One of the lies that made me go, hmm, maybe she's lying. I don't think so. I don't believe what she's telling me right now. Was something along the lines of, I just got home from school today. A plane crashed into my school and killed all of my classmates. Yeah. Process that for a few seconds. No, I'm not lying. I have no reason to lie to you. This is just, this is real shit. This is real talk right here. True facts. Uh, whatever other true memes. Yeah, that's what she told me. And so I just sat there for a few minutes. I was like, oh my god, are you okay? Yes. I was so fucking gullible that I was worried about her during this event. Didn't ask how she got home. Didn't ask for the fact that it's not on fucking national TV. None of that shit. Just... I, I, I was concerned. But at the same time I was going, there's no fucking way, really? Maybe she's, maybe she's kind of fibbing to me. I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Now... I'll sit bear you the thousands upon thousands of other lies she told me, but let's just end it with the fact that she told me she fell down some stairs and fell on a steak knife and drove it through her chest. So yeah, that's humiliating funny stories for me. I hope you've laughed. Or at least, you know, have a what-the-fuck face on your face now. Because if there's so, then I have succeeded, I think. <laughs> uh, this has been a fantastic Q&A, if I do say so myself. I've never thought I'd get this many questions, even if 50% of my R fall out. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for your support. I, I hope I got in touch a little bit with you. I hope you feel me touching with you right now. I hope you feel a little bit more in touch with me. Yeah. And uh, yes. I, I, this is Oblivion. Um, you've seen me play it for a long while now. I'll let you decide if you'd like to see this uh, as an LP or, you know, it's up to you guys. Really. I, I don't mind either way. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I uh, shit. What was I gonna say? Ah, fuck. I can't remember. Anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this Q&A session. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. I'll be here all day and night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And good night!